And now set to make his way to the ring, Showtime, Sean Porter. Sean Porter has been trained by his father, Ken, for his entire career. Ken was just 18 when Sean was born, and uh, they've said they're more like brothers than father's son. Porter, football player in high school, and he was a good one, too. Stowe Monroe falls high. Now making his way to the ring, Adrian, the problem, Broner. Well, you can count on Broner to make his uh, normal grand entrance in a matter of speaking. 25 years old, beaten only once in his career, and he thinks he is the heir apparent to Floyd Mayweather, even though he calls Mayweather his big brother. The two have trained together at Mayweather's gym in Las Vegas. Former champion in three divisions and considers himself both a pro boxer and a professional entertainer. But on NBC early March, that unanimous 12-round decision over John Molina, who never did get into it. Sean Porter, 25 and one with one draw, 16 by knockout. His last fight back in mid-March, he knocked out Eric Bonet in round five. The time here before these guys are able to land solid punches. Stop! 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 And I like stop Ray. Rare, as we mentioned earlier, for Broder. This is only the third time he's fought as a welterweight. Here comes Porter, went to the body. The rush move by Porter. He grabbed on to clear his head to really gain uh, the edge here. Kind of get, you notice, he, I mean, he's actually holding. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Official. Score, Steve Farhood had it a 10-9 for the range. Either guy can establish his jab and start to shoot more combinations to set one another up. Nice counter right hand by Adrian there, Mark. And a right hand from Porter. What a hand. He comes in with his hands down. Now he has Porter against the ropes. Like that. You know, that's something I think Tony's going to have to take control of. Nice shot by Sean Porter. Big right hand, and then try to go to it again. Early in the fight to say, hey, listen, you can't just come in. I'm going to touch you with something. And once Porter gets inside, he has let both of those hands go. He's trying, but it's very difficult when Adrian's got pushing your head down and then also got that forearm in your throat. It can be very tough. So Adrian's doing the right tactics, but we'll see how long he's able to get away with those tactics. That left hand from Porter. Stop, just stop, stop, stop. Very good tactic by Adrian. Every time they get close, he extends about before the fight. Porter's got to get inside. When he gets inside, he's got to work. A big roundhouse right. But that looked like a slip by Broder. And now here comes Porter. This is what ha this is really good for Porter. Broder just trying to get away. Which is smart from bonus standpoint. And this is exactly where Sean Porter's got to be right there. You see, he's getting his hands free. He's digging the body of Adrian and finishing back up top. Adrian's looking to hold on because he doesn't like. Fistool <laughs> ran out of the corner and touched Sean a couple shots early. Uh, let's check in with Kenny. Bring it! All right, thank you, Marv. I'm with Kenny. Are you going to finish this fight, you think? We're going to wear him down. We're going to wear him down. We're All right. Wear him down. Thanks, Kenny. Marv. <laughs> and that is exactly what... I rather has thrown twice as many power punches. You know, definitely a smart move for Team Porter to bring Shane Mosey into camp, but Adrian Broner's having a much better round this... the beginning. But I think Broner started this fifth round very nice. He came out very sharp with a jab and nice counter shots. And uh, on my scorecard, he's... All right, Steve, what do you see to this point? Well, Marv, it's an ugly fight, and sometimes ugly fights make for ultimately ugly scorecards. Um, it's 
Porter won the third and fourth, and the first very clearly. Uh, Broner, I think I agree with BJ, took the fifth round by landing shots as Porter came in. So, Abbott Porter by one, 48-47 through, through five. And Porter has, has come out strong here in the sixth. And Ray, you saw that press conference that took place a couple days ago as Broder referred to Porter as just a football player. He was an excellent football player in high school. You see the jab once again? Beautiful work by Sean Porter, right when Kenny Porter. He'll have to fulfill, and I'm doing my thing as well, too. But I'm a guy that believes in, in, in patience and, 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 and due time. And so I think that timing will happen real soon. Right, you want to say roll tide once? Hey, roll tide, baby. <laughs> Deontay Wilder, thanks, man. Back tomorrow. Okay, thank you, Al. Al had the scorecard. Porter, according to Steve Farhood, took round 6, 10, 9, and has a two point lead here at round 7. And I think, Marv, this is a very big round for both fighters because I gave Sean the last round, I gave Adrian the round before that. You want to see one fighter get momentum and start to win a couple rounds in a row. Once again, Tony Weeks appeared to be looking at the judges, but... <laughs> so that's it for... Steve Farhood had that as a 10-9 round for Broder. 27 years old. Says he's representing Northeast Ohio. Record of 25 and 1, 1 draw, 16 by knockout. To the possibility of the referee, Tony Weeks, taking a point away in a fight like this that is apparently so close, that point could be so critical. Nice counter left hook by Adrian on the inside. You see Sean starting to work to get on the inside. Starting to slow down just a little bit though, Ray. And with your attributes, physical attributes, he just has to use them right now for sure. <laughs> oh, left hand. Landed by Porter. Yeah, that's really being effective because normally um, two counter punches and then get that distance again, maintain that distance because Sean is very physically strong on the inside, like you said, Ray. This doesn't tell us the impact of the punches, but for Sean, they're still close rounds. Sean's coming forward, he's shooting the punches, but Adrian's landing some feet. Oh. Big right hand by Sean Porter there. That landed square. Well, that also tells you the, the, the chin. Oh, another hard stop, hit. Stop, 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 let him up. Let him up. Yeah. A little bit too long. He's waiting too long in the pocket. Which would give Brona a chance. So around to get off the ropes. Continue to work to show the judges that you want those points and you want to land the, the harder shots. Good shot by Sean Porter. Adrian Broder holding again. Porter to tie him up. Just relentless. And These last two rounds could really be a big factor in who wins this fight. Coverage of today's premier boxing champions will continue at 11 o'clock Eastern on NBC SN. And to see Porter running after Broder, who again gets up against the ropes. Porter keeps coming. And more by combination by Porter. Final seconds, round 11. Farhood has Porter winning eight of the 11 rounds. In what champions do, you can never count a champion out. Surprising to us. Combination from Porter. And it's all over. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we'll go now to your judges' scorecards. Your first judge, Adelaide Bird, sees the fight 114 to 112. Judge Dave Moretti sees the fight 115 to 111. Your third and final judge, Eric Jeek, scores the fight 118 to 108. All for the winner by unanimous decision, Showtime, Sean Porter.
Friday.